All right, all right, all right. Taurus, what's poppin'? What is poppin', puddin'? It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Listen, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Okay, hit that thumbs up button for me. Show me some love. Listen, thank you guys so much for just like showing me so much love while I was on my break y'all every last single deck on this table is brand new thank you guys for all your love and support if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading only thing you got to do is click the description box of this video it gives you various ways to communicate with me and show support to the page or you can also click the about tab on my youtube uh page and send me a message on instagram if you want to book a um reading or if you don't have instagram email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com so taurus you already know how we do we always give father god his praise and thanks and glory because listen they don't know our story but he does okay so bow your head with me and let's give the lord his praise today so father god thank you so much for bringing this here for the sign of taurus father god we thank you so much for the sun shining bright on us father god we getting nice and tan and golden we shining real bright father god listen <laughs> come on come on now I don't know why I just had to get this citrine out, my citrine bracelet, because I don't know why I'm feeling very citrine-like. I don't know why I'm seeing a whole bunch of, like, yellow sundresses, a lot of just, like, pink and just... I don't know. I feel like you guys have just, like, been... Especially the females, y'all have been doing the damn thing with the colors, with your nails, like, with your hair. I feel like a lot of short haircuts and stuff like that. A lot of very natural. You're not putting on a whole bunch of makeup. You letting your skin glow. Like, y'all are just very much on y'all sexy this <laughs> listen y'all already know Taurus ladies don't come to play they will dress their ass off they will dress you the fuck under the table so I'm sorry I'm all cussing during the prayer I'm sorry I did just in my head I just started seeing like my brain just started going and I just seen y'all showing off father God I just want to say thank you so much for just allowing us to like thoroughly express ourselves and just be creative and just I feel like they are just like developing a lot of product i don't i feel like y'all guys are developing a lot of product and just being very just y'all on y'all entrepreneur stuff right now you guys are very very much feeling yourself and i feel a lot of happy energy around you it's like nothing could cloud your glory right now there's no dark clouds like nothing can cloud your glory right now so father god they don't know our story please give us the guidance that we need for Taurus because I before we even got into the cars I was about to tell y'all what the heck y'all was doing Jesus Lord thank you amen and amen give us guidance I'm <laughs> sorry because y'all just showing y'all doing too much okay give me guidance for Taurus give me one card for Taurus I'm gonna take this one what is this? I know. Oh, come on now. This is the cat eye. I've never seen the cat. Oh, this is a beautiful ass cat eye, ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't I? Ain't I? Ain't I on that beach? Ain't I? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm being trifling. I'm being ghetto. Sorry. <laughs> this is angelity, intuition, protection. Invoke the bright cat eye. The eye of the cat. The cat eye is used. As a talisman to ward off and protect against any evil or unforeseen dangers coming your way, it increases agility, allowing you to fly beneath the radar of your enemies and to progress ahead of your competitors. The cat eye enhances night vision, gives you the ability to see through the shadows in higher definitions and to access heightened levels of intuition by opening the crown chakra. The cat eye is regenerative and can help you regain what what was once lost leo and venus the cat eye this is one of the most beautiful cat eyes may i say you know what i was thinking about the tiger eye the cat eye i need me a cat eye crystal hello this is beautiful come on now taurus they will not ignore us come on and with that agility y'all know y'all be swift y'all be swift with it okay now don't be playing you get punched in your throat look I'm, okay don't do it y'all no cat move quick on them taurus is calculated they smart okay very smart very intelligent okay don't play with taurus you're punched in your neck okay mm -mm, don't be 
you jumping out there now? <laughs> All this about unforeseen danger and stuff. Hold on, who? What? Quats? See, I, I feel like Taurus ain't even know nothing about that because we've been too busy in our glory because they don't know our story. Listen, we ain't wasn't paying no attention. A tour, uh, we weren't paying no attention. We was out here dressing and finessing. Okay, girl. Don't, uh, we was being... Uh, uh, okay, come on, Taurus. Look, you got the Empress. Look, come on. Didn't I tell y'all? <laughs> Taurus don't give a fuck about what y'all doing. Taurus has been out here dressing y'all hoes under the table. This hair is looking good. These nails is looking good, honey. Y'all bitches is hating. Got to be. Because what's all this? Girl, what is you talking about? Who are these unforeseen people? Look, at even Taurus is confused. Like, who is these hoes? Who sent them? Who sent them, little llama? Am I going to have to pull out the llama? The llama? <laughs> What? Ain't that what the rappers be saying in the in, in the songs? Like they gonna pull out the llama? What is that? What is that? Some artillery, a gun, or something? You gonna pull out the llama? What you talking about? And I'm over here chilling, being in my bestest. Y'all hoes is this bestest. I can't breathe with y'all fuck hoes around. What you mean? Like, ugh. Every time y'all bitches move, y'all just clogging up the ass. Ugh. Bitch, y'all bitches is dirty. These some dirty, dusty ass hoes. They mad because we out here clean, blessed, and glorious. Excuse? Hello? Hello? Come on, Miss Impross. Okay? Miss Impross. Come on now. Come on with your rose crown. They mad because all these people love you. Because people like being around you because things pop. Every time you launch your business, what you got some rose water spray? You got some beauty products or whatever you're doing. The Empress represents beauty, so it has something to do with hair, fashion, makeup, nails, skin, being in, being on trend. Okay? Bitch, a win, win, win. Okay? What you mean? Uh, I'm sorry. Y'all got me being extra ghetto today. What are we doing? Okay? What you mean, cat eye, girl? Even, even my cat eye crystal is beautiful. Bitch, what you mean? I'm sorry. What is going on with the ship? Come on now. People, look, you're moving. This ship ever means you are moving on or blessings is coming into you. And I think the book is at the tennis space. So the tennis space could be like, again, it's like the tennis space is like, representing a point where you already had failure. You all like you accept what went wrong in your life and you moving on it's like i don't have to stay in a place where i'm unhappy a place where i don't fit in i got too much going for me and that's on period if you don't believe in yourself don't nobody believe in you and if people are mad it's why because i'm encouraged by my beauty by my talent by my strength because i know how to stay focused and move on excuse you Y'all better know that the Taurus is very dedicated and a very loyal person, but we can accept failure because we got too, it's too much of a shit to do. It's too much money out here. It's too much love. I could regenerate myself and I could come back out here on a whole totally different mission and show y'all how to win. And if people are mad because you've moved on, Tough Titty said the kitty. Listen, Tough Titty said the kitty because I'm protected and respected regardless, girl. We guard less. Okay. We are reloaded, girl. Don't play with us. Because I'm trying. Don't. Taurus, she look confused. Like, what is they talking about? I'm sitting over here, like, I'm bothered. Do you think because these people, like, what? Ill wishes against me. You think it's going to stop me from coming out here being the bitch? Like, girl, you going to make me keep doing it harder. Girl, I'm going to make you even more upset. And you talking to your llama friend, like, girl, we about to go out there and kill them. They don't even... <laughs> Like what? Like whoever this is, it's like you just about to see Taurus continue to move on harder and you just about to become even more of an enemy because like tch, you must don't know what you're doing. Please learn how to move on. Like you're not going to disrupt my flow. You're not going to disrupt my game, my game plan. I will not get off of my throne for nothing and nobody. And again, like the Taurus comes with love. The Taurus represents growth and agility. Move quickly, okay? I will move around you quickly. Number three represents creation. Represents self-expression. Represents communication. Being artistic. Energetic. Get, ooh. 
Okay, well, you know what? I might just have to take this because this is telling a story. This is right here. So, we got the Prince of Pentacles. All right? We got the Judgment in the reverse. We got the Queen of Swords. And then you got the Six of Swords here. So, I'm going to start off right here with the Queen of Swords and Six of Swords. The Queen of already made her mind up. Okay? She's sending someone away. It's like, I don't know if this was like... It's like some type of higher power, higher authority, like a judge or like, especially when you got the judgment in the reverse right here. I don't know if this was like a spiritual, like a, a fairy godmother or something like that. But it was like the Queen of Swords ever brings you intuitive guidance and with the judgment here being in reverse that's why I feel it's like something spiritual I don't know if this is like a great grandmother or just somebody that is just like hovering over you and watching over you and protecting you I don't know if it was something it was something that went wrong with the judgment in the reverse it was something that went wrong and again I said that already with the ten of, with the ten of spades it's like something isn't forgiven something it wouldn't pass. So you had to go. You know what I'm saying? And it was the best for you. It was the best for your children. So whoever this was sent her army, sent the generals or something to come get you and to give you help and put you in a safe place. So it's like something couldn't bother you anymore. So you wouldn't receive this injustice because of something. It was like you were done wrong. So whatever is being dealt with by the justice system because again the queen of swords can represent law legal your attorney a judge or like i said a higher spiritual power so this person again was sent away for protection sent away for protection and then you got the prince of pentacles You have the Prince of Pentacles. So the Prince of Pentacles is someone that is a little bit, it's more honorable, it's more respectful, it has more integrity. It's like this person is not going to come and waste your time. This person is going to come and bring you better opportunities. It's like a more fitting situation. Do you understand? Again, it just, it's, it's, it may take a longer time being able to process and to get to you, but it lasts longer. Do you understand? So, I don't know. Like, this person could be coming to bring you some type of opportunity because it's, again, I don't know why I feel like some is having to deal with some type of justice system. With the sword, someone was sent away to make better for themselves. That's what I'm just hearing. It's like someone was sent away to make better for themselves. The end. Done. And again, like, do you see how this Prince is offering like a pinnacle. Like, I don't know if this is a job, this is an opportunity. You know, if you're looking at this for a romantic sense, this could be just something that is more beneficial to you in your family because I feel like this is someone that has a child. This is someone that has other people other than just their self to think about. You understand? So, this person did what was right did what was right and for the betterment of this person so that she can grow to be the empress. And again, the ship, like I said, this is this is someone that's being sent away that's moving on. This is someone that knows that this is what they have to do. Might not be what they want to do, but at the end of the day, I'm look, I can't change my mind because it's like I can't change my mind. I, it's like it's not my choice. You know what I'm saying? I'm being told what to do, and I'm being given help or assistance or there's someone that is guarding me to the other side to see me on that to see me to the other side of the way you can't come back here no more and it's like I want to say if you come back you'll be punished because you don't belong there you belong over here like I'm giving you money you go this way you know what I'm saying it's not for you to deal with you let me deal with that Again, it's like someone's looking confused. It's like, I was supposed to do this. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was supposed to get up and move and not ask questions. Intuition. Like I'm saying, it could be like your grandmother or someone just giving you some type of intuition. Like, get up and go, okay, I'm not asking no questions. I'm leaving. And like I said, protection with the sword. Firm, 
Quick justice. That shit won't pass. You gotta go. So what is this saying? Know thyself. It is the most important task you have. Know thyself. It is the most important task you have. Shit, that could even just be you cutting yourself. It's just like, I know better. It's like, I know better than this. Like, there's no honor. There's no justice. There's no something. It's like, there would have been hell to pay if you wouldn't have followed the direction of whoever this is. Because something already went wrong. That's regardless. Let's get into love. I heard it's just like y'all 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 learned how to move quickly and not ask any questions. It's like I don't ask questions no more. Like as soon as something ain't isn't right, I just move on. It's and I will not leave my throne. It's like period. What is this? Your soulmate love surrounds you this very moment. Stop and feel it. Unconditional love growing through the eternal flame of oneness. A spiritual union of two souls radiating light for the entire world to feel. So again, like I said, it's like. Again, I'm getting spiritual wisdom. It was like something that was, I want to say it was forced on you. It was forced on you to pick up and leave because there's something better. It's like something better. And I don't even, I feel, I feel like you're still like in transition or something. Because with the ship, it's like you're still in movement. You're still commuting. And again, it's like something, it, it hasn't found you yet. If you want to take this in a love sense. But it's like being forced to move on. I don't feel like, especially with this empress right here, because again, this is someone that already has like a pre-existing family or something, but I don't feel like they found that love. And you had the agility, you had the strength, and you know you were being protected to move on and you were being safely moved to the other side. Hmm. It, it, I feel like it was to enhance your belief in yourself. It's like, because there's someone that had to, because with this right here, it's like, with just you and your child, and because like the tennis space, this is like failure. This failure is like stuff, but I've already accepted it, and I moved on. I did what was best for me and my children, you know? And it's like, you're doing hella good right now. You're doing hella fucking good. Okay, sorry. Divine Masculine. Got the Divine Masculine. What's this other stuff that came out? Creativity. Luminosity. And creativity. Remember I said something about like you showing, like you growing, like you're very beautiful, you're all of this stuff like that. You got the divine masculine, creativity. Remember I said something about product, you creating things and and again the empress means create it's like especially in a business sense a, Empress is someone that is always coming up with something new. Like whatever you put your energy in, it grows and it flourishes. Luminosity. You're glowing. It's like people can see you. It's like something about the energy that you are giving right now, especially since you moved on. It's glowing so bright that the mask, the true masculine can see you now. And again, like do you see the eye of Ra? You see the eagle, you see the lion, 
you see the sun like this is the right one do you understand what i'm saying like know thyself is the most important task that you have that is the task that you're doing you're growing you're showing you're glowing you have protection around you i mean what more can we say let's get these last cards out and let's wrap this up that's the blessings of knowing how to move and move quick. Don't ask no questions. Let the cards fall where they may. I like this. Let's get it, Taurus. What's the last little guidance and love for my Taurus for July? Ooh, you got the tower, honey. You got the tower. Ooh, 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 and the tower and the ship. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa. Give me goddess with the tower. It's like you ain't see that shit happening. God damn. What's this? The ten of coins. Oh, fuck. It's like you ain't see that shit happening. And then you got the queen. And she's like, I fucking told you so. Look. The queen is so she like, I told you. I to Didn't I say this is like so a young. I am literally. I am getting chills, my nigga. I am getting chills on my arm. I fucking told you. Do you understand? She's like, I told you. I, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I told you where to go. I already knew. I told you. I fucking told you. Again. I feel like kisses from heaven. It's like, you see how she is like, it's like she's sending. It's like she knows what to do. It's like, I don't know if it's like your, your car is going to break down or something. Why do I feel like this is like the auto mechanic or something? All of these ships. You see all of these fucking ships? You see all of these ships? You see how it's like an unexpected breakdown? It's like in the middle of you commuting, like your car is going to break down or some shit like that. And it's going to lead to the, t it's like some type of accident is going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles, like. The Ten of Pentacles, again, remember, because it was like you had the Ten of Pentacles before with the, you had it before, but it was destroyed. It was destroyed. I don't feel like it was your fault with the judgment in the reverse. It wasn't your fault, but God called it to end. God called it to end. You didn't let it break your stride. You still maintained your beauty. You still maintained your faith. You still maintained your creativity. You did not let any blessings pass you by. Like you listened to your your godmother or whoever this is. It's like she know what she's talking about. She know what she's doing. It's like she's protecting you. It's some feminine elderly energy that is protecting you. And it's like she's sending you her love. She's sending you kisses. Like, I feel that shit is so fucking amazing. And it's like, see, you, you might feel like, God damn, my fucking car broke down. But it's like, you in a nice-ass neighborhood, wherever the hell this shit broke down at. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, you got a, you, your car got fucked up, but you ended up with a husband. And that's what he do is fix cars and fixes everything. Like, this is like... The perfect fucking man, the perfect situation, like everything. This is the protector, this is the provider, this is everything. So it's like, oh my goodness, Tora. <laughs> Listen, Tora, come on with that cat eye energy. Listen. Move quickly when this come around, girl. Listen, don't listen. What no mistake, honey, is what God put in place. Listen, the the tower, it was meant to happen. Okay. All right, it's something that you didn't expect. You didn't know what's going to happen. But sometimes little simple mistakes or little things that you never thought would happen can set off your destiny. You know, have you ever had a situation in your life where even though this was fucked up, but if that wasn't, if that wouldn't have happened, this wouldn't have happened. I would have never, I would have never been in a situation where I would have needed this help. This person would have seen me shining and then we came together and created a ten of pentacles together. You feel what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm the fuck reloaded. I'm again. Hello. 
Come on, claim this, Taurus. Claim this, claim this. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all hit that likes button. Thank you guys for showing me all of the love and just having this amazing energy. I loved reading y'all reading today. Peace.